We're back to the Neil Haley Show here on the Total Celebrity segment. And I'm excited to welcome the program Taylor Gray of High Expectations. Taylor, thanks for stopping by. How are you? Doing really well. Thank you for having me, Neil. I'm uh, looking forward to chatting about uh, High Expectations. Yeah, you know, I'm a sports fan, and this is the kind of sports film, but also it's a story. And it also is a story of living in someone's shadows. And I remember, and I'm going to give you an, ex an example of it, my own life, my father, my late father was brilliant. Uh, you know, number two in the Naval Academy, worked for Admiral Rickover, people are, you know, historically understanding his, you know, engine, you know, vice president. And I was an athlete, but I was not, you know, to the level of intelligence of my father. So I always lived under my father's shadows when it came to intelligence and things like that. And this kind of reminds me of you and Kelsey in certain ways of what you had to go through as your character. Yeah, that, see, that's all we're hoping for is that personal connection and people relating to these these universal themes and also to this character and what Jack's going through. And it's cool that you say that because the writer, Chris White, actually has a very similar story. His, his father was very successful and, and he sort of took that dynamic that he grew up with and the feelings that he harbored uh, being a son of that, living in such a, a massive shadow and then sort of uh, imprinted it upon the sports world and put it into a, a genre film, like a, a soccer film that we have. And it's still at the end of the day, like you said, is a story about family and relationships and, and healing. And it's sort of David and Goliath and, and overcoming all odds. And then Kelsey's character is a very successful soccer coach. Explain a little bit of that. I, again, I yeah. just watched the trailer. I'd love to, I'm gonna definitely watch the whole movie, but yeah, I kind of explain that to our audience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, the Kelsey Grammer plays my father, who uh, was a very successful soccer player of his own and then became a coach in Europe um, before coming back to the States. And when he was coaching in the States, his son, his, well, Jack Davis's older brother uh, was drafted onto his team as a, a very accomplished goalkeeper. And then Jack, my character, comes along out of college and is on his father's team, but only briefly and is cut. Um, publicly and humiliated in front of the entire sports world and sort of feels done out by his father. And then we, we jump into the story and see his tra upward trajectory as he tries to uh, make a name for himself. And you're going through a lot of hard times at first with that, because again, you always were trying to be as good as your father was as a soccer player, which you couldn't. And then you get the opportunity and then you get cut. So it really puts you in a spir spiraling mode of really taking, hitting rock bottom, understanding the challenges that go through reaching high expectations, which again is the name of the movie. And you really are going through tough times to try to figure it out. Absolutely. Um, it, it is a cliche to the name of the film, but it is high expectations that he's trying to live up to. And, and sometimes we find that when there are such high expectations, um, the way we react to that um, is just because of the difficulty of trying to achieve those. And so in Jack's case, he becomes a bit of a black sheep and he, he rather than even pursuing his dreams, he sort of falls to other, uh, falls victim to other vices. Yeah, absolutely. And then you look at a lot of sons that have famous fathers that, you know, didn't do as well. Mel Torme's son, he was pretty successful, but didn't. Again, Charlie Pride's son. You just go, list goes on on women and men that had, you know, successful mo moms or dads and living under that shadow in so many ways. And you have to figure it out. Are you going to take on your own role? Are you going to try to not be part of that family? Or are you going to do exactly? And you chose to play soccer, your character. And that really makes it challenging because that's all you wanted to do, it sounds like, right? Yeah, exa that's exactly right. Because sometimes we'll see children will go off in a different direction than what their family does. And because it's hard to live up to that sort of pedigree. And so the fact that he is just continuing to do what he loves, which is soccer. I mean, in his family, we have other siblings and one is in government, very successful. One is in business, very successful. And then, of course, the other brother, who's also a footballer, a soccer player, um, is the MVP of the league. And so there are these sort of giants towering above him. But he himself feels that he's capable of being amongst them, amongst the giants. And so 
I think a lot of people will connect with that because everyone's felt that at some time or another, like uh, inadequate um, in comparison to those around them. And so hopefully this inspires people and they uh, relate to it. Yeah. And I think it definitely will. And it's really well done. How does it working with Kelsey? Uh, are you a fan of his before? And you've been successfully on your own, right? Especially in the Star Wars game. But when it comes to specifically enough, Kelsey, the pinnacle of Frazier, cheers. I mean, wow. You know, that must have been impressive to work with him. Yeah, my my dad was really excited when I told him that Kelsey Grammer was going to be playing my father in the film because um, he loved Cheers and watched Frasier. And so mm-hmm. I remember when I was younger um, watching Cheers with him. And although it's a little bit beyond our generation, um, everyone's familiar with it. Everyone knows Frasier. And so and he's also done so many different things. His resume is so extensive and he's been around for a long time. And it was just really cool to um share scenes with him and work opposite him and and the way our dynamic works in the film there's a lot of emotional depth so it was it was really great to be able to dive into it with such an experienced veteran like him and the stories in between scenes were just so fun oh absolutely and that's great and i I, what do you what is your hope for the film high expectations what do you want to get gain out of the, the story that story being told to everyone what do you want I hope, uh, I think we touched on it a little earlier. I hope it inspires people and I hope it um, encourages healing within families and, and people can look back on, on certain memories within their family and maybe see it with a new perspective. And I hope it, it gets younger people who are on their journey to whatever it is that their dreams are. It gives them a little fuel to the fire. I know when I was younger with my little brother, when we would watch films, like this we would come out of it and we'd immediately get out on the basketball court if it were that or or pick up a guitar and and start practicing and just really um inspire people to continue to chase their dreams despite what obstacles are in front of them all right and when is high expectations coming out high expectations is out april 7th all right april 7th high expectations appreciate you coming by and uh Great conversation, great movie. Uh, Definitely people should check it out. And you did a great job playing that character. Were you at, do you have any soccer experience? Was this the first time? Um, I played, I played pretty competitively uh, growing up all the way through high school. And then I had other buddies who continued on, but my path went more towards acting. That's when I, uh, I started doing a Nickelodeon show. And so things had to take precedent, but I've always been such a big fan. And so to have this opportunity to play with, not only uh, on Brianna Scurry's team, who's also accomplished uh, in soccer, but all, to play with these ex-pros and collegiate players was really, really fun. All right, well, fantastic. We thank you. Uh, best place we can follow you on social media. Where can we go? I'm on Instagram at TaylorGray3 and Twitter at I'm Taylor Gray. All right, thanks a lot, Taylor, for coming by. I appreciate it. Thanks, Neil. Have a good one. You're listening and watching The Neil Haley Show, and we'll be back in just a moment.